We always speak about comfort zones, but how are comfort zones actually destroying your potential? In this video, we're going to be answering that exact question. Now, first of all, please make sure that you subscribe to Goals and Growth. Our next target on here is 10k subscribers, and we can only get there with each one of you in our corner. My name is Estian, and I am here to help you become the best version of yourself. Let's explore the phenomenon of the comfort zone. Firstly, what do we mean when we say comfort zone? Now, your comfort zone is, so to speak, your daily routine. Every day, you have a specific routine that you go through. You obviously repeat this routine week after week, month after month, year after year, and you fall into what is known as a comfort zone. You do not want to get out of the zone because you're afraid of taking risk. You're afraid of taking a chance. You're afraid that something bad might happen. And therefore, you creep back into the shell, which is known as the comfort zone, because, well, that's where it's easiest. That's where it's most convenient. That's where I've spent my whole entire existence in. Well, my friend, you are making a grave mistake. Your comfort zone is destroying your potential. Whether you like it or not, in order for you to progress in life, in order for you to make meaningful progress, you have to break out of the comfort zone. You have to be willing to take the risk. I'm not saying be stupid. I'm not saying risk your entire life savings, but you have to be taking calculated risk every now and then. Let's say, for example, you've always planned on running your own business, right? You have the business plan, you've planned what kind of business this is, what kind of services you'll be delivering, what kind of goods you'll be selling, but you are afraid to take that first step. You're afraid to go and register that business. You're afraid to do the marketing because you're scared that something bad might happen. You're scared that I might spend all of this money and I might not make any back. Unfortunately, that is the risk that's going to be attached to it. It can either fail, but it can also succeed stupendously and beyond your wildest imagination. But unfortunately, you have to be willing to take that risk. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are not willing to step a toe outside of your comfort zone, how do you expect to grow? Remember that adversity, failure, and challenges are the backbone of growth. If you do not experience adversity at some stage in your life, if you do not experience any type of difficulty, any type of struggle, how do you even expect to become a stronger person? How do you expect to grow financially, physically, spiritually, and mentally if you do not allow yourself to face adversity? Listen, some of us are very privileged. Some of us have everything that we can possibly wish for. Some of us have grew up in rich families. But remember that at the other end of the spectrum, there are those who came from absolutely nothing and made huge excesses of their lives. Have you ever sit and thought to yourself that I know people who have been born into rich families and who turned out absolute bums, but on the other hand, I know people who came from poor families and they made huge success. Well, the truth is that those people who grew up in struggle, they know what the struggle is like. They know what they needed to do to break out of the struggle. They were motivated. They were hungry to break outside of the circumstances because they knew in their heart that only they can change their path. So, yes, I know the comfort zone is a very nice thing. It's something that we all experience in life. We all just want to sometimes sit and chill and just live our lives like it currently is. But there are a select few, like you who click on this video, who want more. You want to leave a legacy. You want to build a name for yourself, a name for your family. You want to provide for your future generations. If that is you, first of all, make sure you subscribe once again. Second of all, take a step outside of the comfort zone. Take that trip to the gym. Get on that treadmill. Lift that first weight. Start that diet. Start that new job. Start that new side hustle. Just start doing something. And if you fail, it's okay. We've all been there. We are all going to fail many more times in our lives. We're all going to make mistakes. We're all going to experience difficulty. Who said it's going to be easy? Absolutely no one. It's not supposed to be easy. Everything worth having in life should be difficult. And that is the matter of fact. Everything worth having. I mean, imagine it. Why are Ferrari so valuable? Why are Ferrari so desirable? because not everyone can get them, 
right? You have to be willing to work extremely, extremely hard, or you have to be the rare case of someone who was born into a very rich family in order to appreciate that car, in order to get that car. But you, the average Joe, it's for you, the average Joe is very hard to attain that, that level of wealth. And that's why, you know, it's so valuable to people. That's why everyone looks at a car and think, damn, I wish I could have had that. The, the thing is that you can have it. But it all starts with you taking a step outside of the comfort zone you've been stuck in. If you found this video inspirational, valuable, educational, make sure that you share it with friends and family who might need to hear this message. And if you are currently stuck in a rut, do not worry. But at the same time, do realize it is your responsibility to step your foot outside of your comfort zone. My name is Estian, and I'll see you next time.